very briefly, I want to thank all of you for uh, joining us uh, this morning. Thank uh, my friend and, and, and colleague, Councilman Howard Duvall, and all of our wonderful staff and, and team members uh, for joining us as, as well. Uh, we're here uh, today so I can do the thing I never want to do as a child, get a, get a shot. I'm uh, going to get our, our flu shot uh, this morning. Um, obviously, uh, we are still very much in the midst of the greatest pandemic this country has seen uh, for the last 100 years. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that as um, Americans. Uh, we, we, we pray uh, for, the, for the President, the First Lady, and every single soul uh, that has been affected uh, by this uh, um, incredible virus, uh, for the hundreds of thousands lost in America and millions across the world, and um, uh, all. We, we keep them uh, in our prayers. Um, today, obviously recognizing uh, the significant challenge of the pandemic, it really underscores even more so the importance of getting your flu shot. Uh, every, every year, uh, we, we, we make sure that we, that we step up and, and highlight this as an important uh, opportunity for uh, every Colombian. Uh, uh, just yesterday, uh, again, with the pandemic, uh, DHEC reported another 229 new confirmed cases, uh, 20 deaths in our state. We know that it's important for folks to get their flu shots, especially if you have other uh, underlying medical conditions, uh, uh, also known as comorbidities, um, like asthma, uh, heart disease, and diabetes. Uh, High-risk individuals, including anyone who, um, uh, uh, anyone who has any of these uh, chronic uh, conditions, uh, regardless if you're if you're young, um, certainly for pregnant women uh, and young children, and those of us who may be over 65 years of age, your risk of heart attack goes up uh, six times higher if you get the flu. Um, we want to th thank our partners, uh, Doctor Scare, for coming out to administer these vaccinations. Uh, Doctor Scare is currently giving flu shots at any of their locations. Uh, you don't even need an appointment. Um, and even if you don't have any chronic conditions or any special risk factors uh, for flu, it's still important to protect yourself, protect your family and your community by getting your flu shot this year. So I wanna encourage everyone within the sound of my voice, uh, to step up, uh, let's take on this, um, this double threat uh, that, that faces our community, this country, uh, and indeed the world right now. And suck it up, let's go get the shot. So. Uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions before I go and get my needle. I am trying to delay it. I, I, I'm, fill, I'm, fill, I'm filling up time, so I appreciate that. We've been very serious indeed since we called for our very first Midlands Coronavirus Task Force meeting uh, the last week of February, and we met on March 6th, uh, the day actually. Um, uh, 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 that on that day, there were no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in South Carolina. Had our first diagnosed case uh, that evening, and we've been diligent, um, um, uh, blazing a trail uh, with the leadership of, of Mr. Duval and our colleagues. Almost every decision we've made as a city and as a council has been unanimous in doing every single thing we could do uh, to try and slow down uh, the threat. The mandatory mask ordinance. Um, uh, uh, early on curfews, uh, shutting down uh, uh, the economy, which is something that we did not want to do, but felt necessary. Uh, we stood up very quickly a resilient Columbia economic uh, recovery plan uh, to support small businesses and address some of the needs around um, food insecurity and supporting our critical nonprofits, uh, supporting our, our public safety officers as well and what turned out to be an over $6 million plan. Uh, we're in football season. Uh, we remain convinced that as it, uh, as it looks, we're still about halftime on, on addressing uh, this, this pandemic. We, we are nowhere near uh, uh, done. And this is a, a pandemic that does not affect Democrats and Republicans and independents. Politics has no place here. Uh, this is a legitimate public health threat to any and every living being, and we need to treat it with the level of gravity that it deserves and, and find some way to cancel out the noise. And that's why we've been um, uh, unrepentant 
uh, uh, about the fact that we follow data, we follow science, we follow good public health advice, and we'll continue to do so, um, uh, e even in the midst of, of political concerns. Uh, if, in fact, we get our arms around the public health crisis, we will address the economic crisis. If we get our arms around the economic crisis and others, uh, then we, our kids can go back to school. We can get back to some degree of normalcy that our families deserve. That's our focus. That's our focus. Address the public health threat, and the economic and educational challenges will address themselves. And um, we're not going to slow down, uh, because I, we believe that our responsibility is to protect the health, life, and safety of Colombians. And um, our one true north is the preservation of human life. And that's our focus. We're not turning back. Is it right, brother? All right. The, um, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a mayor, we're elected officials, so by definition, we're optimists, okay? So some of the interventions, uh, the MPIs that we engage in, uh, can actually help us uh, as, as we approach flu season this year. So wear your mask, just wear your mask. You'd be amazed at how it might help us all maybe even depress the flu season this year, but yes, uh, the, the double threat of, 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 of COVID-19, which has uh, uh, devastated the world uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the seasonal flu, uh, can, can put people in a very bad and deadly situation. And, um, and, and, and we, we have a number of different health threats, uh, long-term uh, consistent health threats in South Carolina uh, that, um, that, that we've not done a great job as, as a state. Uh, addressing. We have hundreds of thousands of people who don't have access to, to quality health care. Uh, we've not expanded Medicaid uh, in, in South Carolina. So all those comorbidities, all those challenges around obesity and, and, and diabetes and, and heart disease and hypertension and risk for stroke and all those things, they add up into what can be a deadly cocktail. And it's important for us to do the things that we can do, to use our podium, to use our bully pulpit as, 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 as leaders in the public sector. Uh, that hopefully enjoys some degree of public trust to encourage people to do this one small thing that hurts for a millisecond, maybe, uh, and, um, and we can indeed save lives. Uh, we, can, we can see more birthdays, we can celebrate more Thanksgivings and Halloweens and Christmases together as a, as, as a family. Uh, one great silver lining of this these last several months is uh, for my family and I think many families is we've had so much more quality time together and, and I think hopefully that underscores for everyone uh, the, the importance of, of making sure that we take care of this one temple that God gives each and every one of us we take care of it and, uh, and we'll get more time together uh, so um, that's our call let's step up let's stand out and let's get our flu shots this year alright thank y'all